Welcome to Oracle Web Center Sites Training. In this session, we are going to discuss Engage feature of Web Center Sites. Engage is used for personalization of content as per the user properties. For example, if a user belongs to US region, then content should be related to US. On the other hand, if user belongs to APEC region, then content should be related to APEC. Now, let's understand the configuration which are required for this feature. In this session, we are going to personalize the header and banner part of a web page as per the segment of the user. If the user doesn't belong to any segment, then this is the content which should be displayed to him or her. And if the user belongs to US segment, then this header and banner should be displayed. Now let's understand the configuration. Step one, enable the asset types. For engage, we need to enable as we calls segment in scalar wells. These asset types are especially meant for engage. ADV calls represent recommendation, segment represent segment, scalar wells asset type represent visitor attribute. Now, in order to enable them, go to admin interface and expand admin, then site, then your particular site, and then click enable. Choose Add V Calls, Promotions, Segment, and Scalar Wells. And click Enable Asset Types. In next screen, check All Start Menu for the Asset Type. And click Enable Asset Type. This will enable all the necessary asset types required for this engage. Now in step two, we create a visitor attribute. For that, click on contributor icon and navigate to contributor interface. Go to content new, new visitor attribute. Now fill the information in the form. So here we are going to display and use country name. So we just type country name. Enter description country name and category custom attribute as this attribute is created by us. Now click on the detail tab. Here we have to specify the valid values which can be entered in this attribute. So we'll specify type as string, length 25, and then value allow true, constraint type enumeration. So constraint type enumeration, we are mentioning the number of valid and legal values. So here we'll add US, we'll add UK, we'll add Japan, and we'll add Australia. Now click save. Now we have the attribute country name. Step three is to create a segment. And this segment will be for visitor from US. Now in order to create that, we again click on contributor interface and we'll click content, new, new segment. Specify the name US segment. Give the description. Click on detail. Click on the eye icon to choose the visitor attribute. 
So this is the attribute which we have created in the step two. We'll choose country name. Now these are the values we have put in the enumeration. So we can choose US and we'll click save. So by this step, we have created a segment meant for US visitor. Now step four is to create recommendation. In our example, we are using header and banner part of the page and the recommendation for the same are header recom and banner recom. So these are the name of our asset types, recommendation asset types. In order to create recommendation asset, we'll go to contributor interface. We click on the new, new recommendation. First, we'll create recommendation for header part of the page. It'll give description as header recommendation. Now choose mode as recommendation. Then click detail. We don't need to modify anything in the option tab. Click directly on detail. Here you can see two options. The first option is where we can drop a segment. And the second one is that if not a segment applies, then what will be the asset for that? So we first drop a segment. So we drop US segment, which we have created in the previous step. It can be the under my work or it can be found here under search start menus. So once you drop the segment, the next step is to drop the asset. So we will be using asset meant for US visitor. So this is going to be our US header. Now we'll mention that if no segment apply, then instead of US header, the other asset Harrison header will be displayed. We'll just save this. Now in the same way, we will create a recommendation for banner part of the page. Again, I'll follow the same procedure. Click on continue new and then new recommendation. Click banner recommendation. Again, recommendation, leave options as it is. Click on detail and again, choose the US segment. Once you select the US segment, then drop banner US. And if no segment apply, then add Harrison banner. Once you do that, click save in order to save the recommendation asset. Now in step six, we have to create a page attribute and page definition. For that, we'll click on admin interface and we'll click on new and click new page attribute. Here specify the name of the attribute so it name of the attribute will be recommendation header and attribute type will be recommendation now click save In the same way, create and one more attribute and name it banner recommendation for banner part of the page. The attribute type will be asset and the asset type again will be recommendation. We already have an asset with that name. So we just search it whether we, whether we have it or not. If we don't, then we need to create it. We don't, we click on new, click again.
click save now click a uh, and click new page new page definition and create a page definition using name recommendation page add both the attributes and click save now we have a page definition with attribute recommendation header and recommendation banner now step six is to create a page for the definition we have created in step five for that click contributor interface refresh click continue new new page choose the newly created definition enter the name and header recommendation and banner recommendation attribute drop header recommendation here and banner recommendation on the banner part and click save so we have created a pay recommendation page now step seven is to make necessary code changes in the template so for this we'll create a template recommendation layout now the main code which is related to the engage and the main tag is commerce context so here in this code we are loading the page and then we are getting the recommendation asset associated with the attribute of the page once we get the ids we get the name of those ids and then we put those ids name here and then we'll get the asset associated with the recommendation so this is the flow of the code and ultimately we get the asset associated with the recommendation please have a look into the code in this code the most important thing is commerce context get recommendation that's the most important and the attribute here that we have used is the name of the recommendations and these assets are the asset which we have associated with the segment in a recommendation so for example if a segment applies then the particular asset ready to that segment will be stored in this list please go through the code once ultimately we get this header id that we can using this header id we can display the content on the page we'll just save it and we associate this template to the page and we'll just save it now in step eight we'll preview the page with different segment in order to do that click on view preview now right now we haven't as applied any segment in order to apply a segment click on this button and click choose us segment as you can see when we choose us segment whatever asset that are associated with the segment are displayed on the page if we say no segment then whatever asset we have put in the no segment part of the recommendation that will be displayed so you can see on the recommendation banner recommendation if the us segment apply then banner us will be displayed banner us contains welcome to us and this banner if no segment apply then harrison banner will be displayed so just look closely if we apply us segment then see this particular portion this is the banner portion of the page 
if the segment is us this particular portion will change to the us segment now if there is no segment then harrison banner should be displayed so if we say harrison banner then no segment no banner is displayed i hope this is clear to you now in the website when a user when a user visit the website we associate we associate the segment we automatically calculate the segment using tag commerce context calculate segment so there is a specific tag which will automatically calculate the segment for you you just need to enter the properties of the user through a variable and then that will calculate the segment for you here in this example i am calculating the segment manually but on the real projects this will be done through a tag i hope you like the tutorial please visit uh, visit us at 365onlinetraining.com to know more about the oracle web center sites training thank you